After leaving Agnes Waters, we headed north to this free camp just outside of Gladstone. Calliope River is a very popular camp spot with a lot of room to accommodate lots of campers. Plus, being free is a massive draw card. Literally a two minute walk from the river is the Calliope Historical Village. For only $5 per person entry, you can walk around the village. They even give you an information booklet at the start to learn about each exhibit. They even had a large section of railway mementos and a large shed full of railway signage. We spent the rest of the afternoon relaxing by the river. It's easy to see why it's such a popular spot with all the green grounds. The next day we decided we needed some exercise and headed to Mount Larkham for a climb. The climb up took approximately one and a half hours, but the view on top was unreal. The following day was Anzac Day, so we attended the Emu Park Main March. Emu Park has some great murals and monuments dedicated to the Defence Force. It was such a fitting spot to spend Anzac Day. We then told Rusty we were leaving to head to Emerald and she got a little bit excited. <laughs> so the next day we were on the road heading to Emerald. We only had one thing that we really wanted to see in Emerald, and that was a massive freestanding easel with a painting. It's located right behind the Information Centre, and you follow a path consisting of 21 unique mosaic pieces, which lead to the giant easel. quick bite of lunch, then we continued on to the gem fields. The gem fields are made up of three townships, Ruby Vale, Sapphire and Anarchy. We headed to Ruby Vale and found a nice free camp on the outskirts of town. We got a fire going and sat back to watch the sunset. The next day we headed into town for a look and to explore the sights. We were so fascinated with the township of Ruby Vale. Seeing all the mining leases and people's setups on their property was so different to anything we had ever seen before. After a tiring day of exploring, we headed back to camp to relax by another fire and spectacular sunset. We 
broke the news to Rossi, we were moving campsites again. <laughs> Before heading to our new camp spot, we stopped in at the local mine for an underground tour and to learn a bit more about the sapphires. So Big Bessie was our new camp spot, a designated fossicking area. You did need to buy a permit online, but it wasn't much. Ours cost us less than $20. There was a lot of dead wood around, so before it got hot, I chopped some up so we had plenty of firewood. After Kurt chopped that wood, it was time to fossick. We headed down to the creek and started panning. The dead wood burnt really well which was great. The next day I headed down to do some more fossicking while Ames took Rusty for an explore. Our two days were up and it was time to move camp again. Join us next time as we head out to Longreach.